Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kristen and today I'm making some liquid vampire nails. I almost gave up on the set halfway through, but I'm so glad I didn't because they turn out amazing and I'm excited to share the process. This gel polish is from Nails by Dev. The shade is Sinister and I love colors of red like this. Once you get the second coat on, it becomes such a deep, deep wine color and it's such a perfect like vampy color. The quintessential vampire color really. This particular nail tip is the Apre 3XL stilettos, the ones designed by Cardi B's nail tech. And I'm actually using like three different nail tips for this set. So there's these ones. I'm using a 3XL square that came with the Dash Nails kit. And I also, because the Apre thumb size doesn't fit me, I found another 3XL stiletto set I had and use that one for my thumb. So it's a mishmash. If you saw my Aquanalian video, you are familiar with this process. This is the Dash Nails method for creating liquid or aqua nails. So I'm taking this thinner consistency gel and spreading it out. Now, I always want to do one nail at a time, but a few of you suggested that I do, you know, more nails at once, and I'm going to try it this time. We're going to do two nails. <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes I think I like to make more work for myself, but yeah, we're going to do two at once. And I used a little bit of sticky tack just to mark where the end should be. And instead of pulling my lamp over this time, I'm going to press down with this mini flash lamp and do a quick flash cure like that and then put it in the lamp. Um, from there, I can just peel it off. And this did work just fine. <laughs> I thought that by doing multiples at once, I was increasing my chances of error happening, but it worked totally fine, so I'll probably always do this from now on. Now, my fingers are touching the inside a little bit, like the edge is a little bit high. So once I trim down the sides, I'm also going to kind of try to trim down that air. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> and I did the layer of this liquid gel a bit thinner this time, so it was easier to cut and trim down the sides. And thanks everyone for the love on my last couple of aqua nail videos. I just, I really can't stop making them. They're just so much fun and I'm happy people are liking those videos as well. I'm taking this old pair of nippers and I'm not going to overcomplicate this. I'm just going to take about a millimeter off of this thinner gel layer and that should be enough room for my finger. Um, I still don't want to make a stopper. I realize that is a method a lot of people use, but I'm getting better at just globbing some gel in there and sealing it up. I mean, this one still took me two tries, but the next time I did it, I did it in like one try. So I don't want to make a stopper unless I absolutely have to, <laughs> basically. Next, you're going to want to find something to prop your nail up with, just a help yourself work. I'm just using a small candle holder with a bit of sticky tack. Sticky tack has been like my best friend the last couple of videos, right? <laughs> so yeah, I put a little bit of the oil in. Now I'm adding these dark metal beads and the glitter. It takes me a while to get all the stuff in. Like <laughs> I definitely am not fast. This part took forever and I cut most of it out. So. <laughs> Oh, I got this glitter from Shein and it's a perfect mix. Like it made me want to do vampire nails or Buffy the Vampire Slayer nails. I absolutely love it. And I will put some in a giveaway. 
which I should talk about. I should talk about doing a giveaway. I said I would do one once I hit 500 and we are actually well past that now. So yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. I've been actually kind of overwhelmed how many people have been joining lately in a good way, in a good way. It makes me feel really good, actually, that the channel's been growing after, after working so hard for so long. So yeah, the snail's looking fucking great. The beads are heavier, so they move around more. And yeah, I love it. Okay, so let's let's do the giveaway stuff. <laughs> let's just throw it in. So it's going to be open to everyone, international, why not? And all you got to do, I think, is leave a comment. Um, type the words, enter me, somewhere in your comment. And if you happen to be a weed smoker, leave a little green heart in your comment as well. And then you'll get a couple of extra weed related items and leave your Instagram handle as well, just in case I need to get in touch with you or we can communicate and I can get your address and all that stuff for shipping it out. So yeah, let's go over that again. So leave a comment. Have it say, enter me, optional green heart for a weed theme. <laughs> Leave your Instagram handle and be subscribed. Obviously, you got to be subscribed too. <laughs> I wasn't totally ready for this giveaway, but <laughs> it in general is going to have a lot of nail charms, things to decorate your nails with. I don't have a ton of extra products in terms of like actual nail colors or acrylic, but I'll try to pick up a few things from Tickled Pink. I will also include random other cute things that are not nail related. And yeah, I'll make it, I'll make it nice. <laughs> but yeah, just know that you will be getting a lot of nail charms and that'll be a big part of it. All right, so I'm using this black pat paint from Born Pretty. I previously used the white pat paint and loved it. I felt like it was the most amazing for line work. And I agree that this black is good for line work, but it is thicker than the white one. And it leaves like a texture when I'm doing the line work. And I did not find it good for like filling in areas. Everything was just so textured. And yeah, so I don't like the black as much as the white, but it is the deepest black color that I have now for doing line work. So yeah, I guess pros and cons. I am going to point out that I'm doing a coffin shape on these. So I did like a French tip around the top just to cover you know, cover all the stuff we need to cover. And then from there, I'm creating this coffin shape. It's very subtle and I feel like you probably wouldn't notice it on like the pictures and stuff right away. It's kind of like a subtle detail, but I'm into it. <laughs> I think it added, it added a lot to the design, but let me know what you think. I realized this video would have been perfect for doing like a top 10 vampire movies or doing a spotlight on a vampire movie, but I just kind of didn't have the time to do it. So it's just a plain old tutorial <laughs> this time, but yeah, more, more movie stuff is coming. And maybe some people prefer just having the tutorial and don't care about the movie stuff, you know? So yeah. Let me try to think though, what is my favorite vampire movie? Um, man, I don't even know. I'd probably have to think about that for a long time. If you have a favorite vampire movie, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> Clearly I need some recommendations if I can't even think of one. I keep thinking of that Renfield movie, the new one with Nicolas Cage in it. And it's not that good, but it was so entertaining. And Nicolas Cage was hilarious. 
I love the original Nosferatu and I did <laughs> I did a video all about him. It was one of the first videos up on my channel and it's if you want to learn a lot about the very original Nosferatu movie from like a hundred years ago, check out that video. It has like so much information <laughs> in it. It's kind of wild. But yeah. Anyway, I'm just rambling along and this is the top coat from Tickled Pink. Nice thick layer. These nails are looking so dope. For this one, I did some kind of like line work off camera. It's just abstract. I don't really know what I was doing. And then we'll just add some charms. So for the thumb, I'm going to take this glitter red polish. I picked this up recently from Tickled Pink and I've just been craving red glitter nails. And this is going to transition perfectly <laughs> into Christmas too. But yeah, so I'm just going to glob on some in the middle and then radiate it out, blend it out a little bit. I did the same thing on the pinky nail, but I didn't film it. So yeah, I love both this dark red and this glitter red and then together. <laughs> it's so luxe and vampy. I'm going to pop out for a bit because I don't have a ton more to say for a little bit. Although we do have to do some troubleshooting later because I got a new lamp for curing, but I'm still having trouble curing stuff sometimes. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if any of you know what's up, but that's coming up soon. And I'm going to pop out for a bit and I will be back. I felt like the thumb needed some more black influence because all the other nails do have, you know, a pretty hefty mix of both the red and the black. So I'm going in and just doing a coffin shape detail. I wasn't being super fussy <laughs> about making it look perfect. I just wanted to get a little bit more of that, that dark color in there. Now I'm doing a relatively thick layer of top coat because the black line work was textured. <laughs> you can kind of see it. So I am globbing the stuff on, but look, I've never had wrinkling happen with a clear color. And I just don't know how or why that happened. <laughs> Is my new lamp too strong? Or did it not, was it not facing that side? I'm, I'm perplexed. And so we're in problem solving mode now. There was no way I was going to remake this nail. I'm just taking a file and I'm going to file, I'm going to file off the texture as much as I can, because I know that by doing a little bit more top coat over top, it will fill in, it'll fill in any like small wrinkles, but not, not these like deep wrinkles that I created. So yeah, that was kind of disappointing. And I don't know if this was a good thing to do or not, but I'm wiping the dust away and wiping down the area where I filed with some acetone. I was hoping it would like melt it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah and then I'm just gonna go over it with some more top coat and it and it saved the day <laughs> you know like it did it did fix the problem but I don't want that to be something that continues to happen and it has been happening a lot lately so I'm just like what the heck is going on oh our friend sticky tack is back <laughs> because this charm I made is heavy I put a little bit of sticky tack there just to hold it in place and it kind of props it up a little bit so that I can get my light under there to cure it worked great Okay, I'm creeping in with the finished set. Don't they look amazing? They're so cool. They're so Halloween. Oh my god, if I had a Halloween party that I was going to or something, these would be perfect. And the pieces move so well. Like, better. Better than the other sets I made. And yeah super gothy super cool please let me know your thoughts in the comments section about this set and remember to leave the words enter me your instagram handle and you know just so that you're entered for a chance to win some nail supplies i'll list all the requirements in the description though And if you made it to the end of this video, you're amazing. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.